Once upon a time, a long, long time ago in the ancient kingdom of Benin, lived a couple who were in love. But unfortunately, they didn't have a child. The husband was getting older and the wife wanted to get pregnant. So, he can carry his child before he died. And he was a very kind and lovely man. Every day he would bring out his guitar and play beautiful music for his wife. Not to console himself but to console his wife. He would always make sure she feels better than yesterday. But deep down inside he was worried as well. But he never showed that to his wife. My wife, come closer. Don't worry. I will always play you beautiful music. I know we have no children, no child at all. But we have each other. Don't worry. Dance to my music. Enjoy the melody and feel new again. Ah, oh, my husband, thank you for loving me unconditionally. Even though I am still barren, I have not given you a child. It worries me a lot. But still, you have chosen to love me regardless. Oh, oh woman. Don't worry, we have each other, and that is what matters. But deep inside, he was very worried. The in-laws would always come together to talk about their brother's predicaments. Me, I don't understand that woman, no. If she cannot give our brother a child, I think we should just go there and send her packing. Exactly. Exactly my thoughts. I think our brother is getting old and she cannot give him a child. I, I think we should just go there, throw our things out. What do you think? Uh, you know our brother loves us so much and that would give him a heart attack. I think we should be patient with them. No, 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 no. Please don't say that. If you're not man enough, me... I will go there and throw things out. I've said my own now. The in-laws were not happy with the wife. And every day they will come together to talk about their brother's predicament. Uh, so one fateful day, the wife was coming from the market. And she saw a beautiful calabash. And then she pleaded with the calabash. To please give her a child. Hello, beautiful Calabash. Oh, if you can hear me, please, I wish you can give me a child as beautiful as you are. I will cherish the child with all my heart, and I promise to always be loyal. To the child that you've given me. Oh, if only you can hear me speak. She said. But to her surprise. The calabash began to speak. Woman. If I give you a child. Would you respect the child? Yes, 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 yes. I, I will. I will, I promise you with my life, I will respect the child, I will nurture the child, I will love the child. Uh, but you must promise me one thing. Anything, anything, oh, anything. You must not, in any circumstance, call the child the son or daughter of a calabash. But if you do, the child will disappear before your own eyes 
and never to return. Am I understood? Yes, yes, wise one. Oh, if you can do this for me, I will worship you for the rest of my life. No, I do not ask you to worship me. The only thing that I ask of you is to treat the child as yours forever and also never make mockery of the child, not you, not your husband, and not anyone else. Thank you, thank you, wise one. Thank you, wise one. She laughed and was very, very happy. She went to her husband and was jubilating. And she narrated her ordeal to him. And time passed, she became pregnant. Oh, she gave birth to a beautiful baby girl. She named the baby girl My Life. And the husband named her My Everlasting Joy. They both gave her everything and she never lacked. She was indeed the apple of their eye. So time went by and the child was growing fast. Due to their busy schedule, they decided to employ a nanny that would always be there for the child. No matter the time, the nanny would always provide for her. So one fateful day, the parents left town and they left the baby with the nanny. But as fate would have it, the nanny was jealous of the beautiful girl and she would not allow her play or rather do what she was supposed to do. Things that she loves to do were restricted by the nanny. But the little girl refused and wanted to play her favorite games, but she refused as well and she started to complain. What are you, what are you always feeling like? Eh? What are you feeling like? You daughter of Calabash, Okbaniya. And if you don't know, let me tell you your story. Huh? Okbaniya, a calabash is even used to pack dirt. Calabash are used to you to, 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 to give dogs food. Eh? Calabash are used for all stupid and irritative things. And that is who you are. Don't you know? Did your mother tell you who you are? Daughter of a calabash. Oh, 